Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Find the Missing Number. In this tutorial, we will learn how to find the missing number for number bonds to 500 for subtraction questions. So let's have a look at our first example. We have 500 minus something, that's our missing number, equals 274. 500 minus something equals 274. Now in previous tutorials, what we've done is we have swapped the missing number with the number on the right. Okay, and that would enable us to do the, the equation 500 minus 274. We're not going to do that this time. What we're going to do is we're going to add numbers to the number 274 until we get to 500. Okay? So let's start with the units. We have four units in the number 274. How many do we need to get to? Well, it's zero. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a number to four, a number to the number four over here until we make it zero. The answer is six. Okay, four plus six is 10. So if we add these together, 4 plus 6 is 10, 0, and then we're going to carry one. 7 plus 1 is 8, and we've got 200. Okay, that's the units done. Now how about the tens? Well, we've got 8 tens. We need to make this 0. Have a look at the 500 again. So what number do we need to add to 8 to make it 0? Well, the answer is 2. 8 plus 2 is 10. Okay, the units are zero because we've already done that. Let's add these together. Zero, eight plus two is ten. Zero, and we're going to carry one. Two plus one is three. So we're up to three hundred now. On to the hundreds. We've got three. We need to get to five. It's a nice easy one. We need two hundred. Add these together we've got 500. So that was our target to get to 500. So what number did we add to the 274 to make it equal to 500? Well, there is a 6 over here, 20 over here, and the 200. We don't need to add these, we just collate them. Okay, we've got two hundreds, two tens, and six units. So the answer is 226. 500 minus 226 equals 274. Now this is a very good method to work with. Once you do this with a bit of practice and you build up speed and accuracy, all of this you can actually do in your head. Okay, so you can actually do this with mental arithmetic. You do not need to go through all the workings. I'm just showing you every step of the process. Now let's scroll down and have a look at a second example. This time we have 500 minus something equals 318. Now I'm going to do this using the shortcut method, which is the same as above, but without all the workings. So we've got number 318. I'm going to add a number to this to make it equal to 500. Starting with the units, we've got 8. I'm going to add 2. 8 plus 2 is 10. I'm going to carry 1 over. So onto the tens. How many tens do we have? We don't have 1 because we carried 1 over. We've got 2. What number added to 2 is going to give us 10? The answer is, sorry, to give us a 0 is going to be 8. Okay, 2 plus 8 is 10. And I'm going to carry 1 over because it's 10. On to the hundreds, 3 plus 1 is 4, and in order to get to 500, I need to add 1. So therefore, the answer is 182. Okay, very little working, and I deliberately went through that quite quickly. And the reason was I wanted to show you how easy this is. Okay, it's not very difficult. Have a practice with a few of the questions, and 
In no time at all, you will become a master at this. So that is how we find the missing number for number bonds to 500 for subtraction questions.